I'm using a fresh installation of Windows 10 Enterprise Edition and I'm going to install Docker on Windows. So I'll use Docker for Windows as my search term. And the first link happens to be the one that I'm interested in. So I'm going to download the Docker installation from that web page. It talks me through how to do that. Click on download. And in order to get that Docker image for Windows, I'm going to log in to the Docker website. Now I can download Docker from the Docker store. So it's a 521 megabyte file, so I'm going to save it. So in my downloads directory, once that file completes, right, now we have an executable that we can open. At this point, I'm going to stick with the default of not using Windows containers, and we will use Linux containers, and we will leave a shortcut on the desktop. So it's been telling me I need to log out, so I'm going to close and log out, click on that. All right, so I'm logged back in. I'll open up Docker for Windows. All right, question of do we want to uh, enable the Hyper-V? And we'll say yes. 